Welcome back to Junk with Junior. So after LS Fest, uh, driving home through the night, getting home at 2 a.m. in the morning, I said, you know what? It's time to upgrade some headlights. So on the way home, we were cruising low beam, uh, you know, as you should on the road. And I was really straining my eyes when I'm on unfamiliar roads, even though it is the interstate and it's easy to follow. Um, so I ended up just clicking the high beams on, which actually are, run, this truck runs the high and low beams with the relay that I put on it. And it was really nice the rest of the way home while we were on the interstate. Nobody flashed their lights at us, so I knew they weren't too bright. And when you compare them to some of the newer cars, it's really nothing because new cars have some really intense lighting on them. So we went with the Holly uh, LEDs, but they're a replacement for the factory sealed beams. And the reason I went with them, uh, it's actually Holly slash Retro Bright, but they have a correct looking lens on them. Now they're not glass, they are plastic, but it still looks correct. Most LEDs don't have that look and I just can't stand that. So we're going to pop the hood on this thing, grab a little torch bit so we can get these screws out of this bezel and out of the top and get those bulbs out of there and get them changed. Now, I was being cheap and I only am doing the low beams for now because they're actually a low and a high beam in the same bulb, but they're expensive. Golly, they're like 186 bucks a piece, I think it was. So they're a little expensive, but they do appear to be a very nice product. So I'm not you know, knocking them for that. It looks really sharp. They did a good job on it, but I didn't splurge and get all four at the same time. That's just too much money. We're just gonna do two for now, and down the road I can always do the high beams later. No big deal. So we got the bezel out of the way with those four screws, and these are the low beams on the top, actually. So now we can pull these four Phillips head screws, which is gonna take this stainless uh, bezel slash retaining ring off the headlight, and in theory, we shouldn't even have to readjust them, but I'm going to do these one at a time so that I, I'm going to change this one on the driver's side first, and then I can make sure that the new bulb is lined up with the other one since they're already set at a pretty nice height, just to make life a little easier so I'm not starting at zero. I've got a standard to go off of on the passenger side, so that will make life a little bit easier, and I don't know if it'll be perfect. We might have to tweak it a little bit because the LED might reflect a little bit different. I don't know, but then we can roll down the garage door back the truck up a little bit and we'll have a good surface to shine on this level so we have a good standard to go off of now holly is extremely specific and thorough on these headlights in their instructions so the first thing that every hot rodder gearhead whatever you want to call them does is throw these things away well not this idiot i am going to read them so the important one uh, to me is there's a there's quite a few different adapters that they have for these lights but on this here this is going to be the the lead that's on the headlight itself so the flat post is going to be low beam the one on this side is going to be ground and this one's high beam so we're just going to grab our probe and check the power probe and we're going to verify that and it's a little bit you know goofy because you have to kind of do it backwards for the way this stuff's laid out but we know that the flat one versus the other two is going to be low beam which is what i have on right now which means we have 12 volts right there and this one is going to be our ground and this one is also showing ground because it doesn't have anything going to it so we know that this and this position the one that's opposite of these two that that is indeed our 12 volts right now which is gonna be low beam just like the instruction says. So now, I'm gonna go in the truck, click on the high beams, and we can verify that the other post is gonna be our high beams. So let's see if the instructions are telling us correctly. So that is gonna be this guy on the right in this picture which is actually going to be on the left on the truck what do we have so that is backwards so we're actually going to have to switch these two wires in this harness to make it work in my application holy cow this is the moment that i've been waiting for uh what a satisfying product um so we still have to do the other side, like I said. Um, just wanted to get this one so I can adjust it if need be. Now, I'm not standing in the truck. I'm standing beside the truck. Look at the LED headlight on the left, and then look at the old one on the right, which is actually an upgrade from a standard seal beam. That was the halogen. 
it's nothing compared to this one on the left. A much wider pattern, much more focused as well. It doesn't get as uh, wonky on the bottom of the beam. Really impressed with that. Now we won't actually, uh, you know, see a major difference till we get this thing out on the road. But with the way the time's changing here lately, and uh, we're losing daylight, I'm actually going to work in the dark, and it's almost dark when I get home now. But that's going to flip flop, and it'll be day daylight in the morning and dark in the afternoon when I come home completely. So I wanted to get these done just to make it a safer drive. But it fits nice, um, just like factory. We still got to put that bezel in there. I don't see the need to adjust it. Uh, it looks really good as far as the up and down, so we're not going to be blinding anybody with that. But the other thing that it does, look how much further to the left the beam comes. So that's going to give you a lot more broad view uh, when you're driving down the road, potentially seeing the other lane and maybe even the shoulder if you go far enough out. So I think it's going to be a lot better setup. But it doesn't appear that, we need to appear that we need to adjust anything, so let's get this other side swapped out. You know what, just for grins, let's just set that hood down, hop inside the old cab, and see. Wow, look at the difference in here. Way more different than being outside. So that's low beams, and there's our high. So high is going to be pretty intense, I think, and this is only two of four bulbs. So maybe in the future we will need to get the other two just for grins. What a difference. I know this video is not going to do it a lot of justice to you actually get some for yourself and try them, but what I've got on low beam here is pretty close to what I had on high beams before, but remember I added that uh, high low beam relay in there, so it was actually low beams and high beams at the same time when I turned on the high beams, so we're much better off. And then we click with the high beams as well, it's even brighter, so really nice setup. So like I suspected, with them being as wide and broad of a pattern as they are, it really lights up the shoulders of this road. Now I'm not on a full two lane road, this is the road in front of my house that's two lane, but you know a normal road is going to be a little wider than this, but we are really lighting up the shoulder. And the uh, high beams, there we go, not a lot of difference adding the high beams to the low beams that are already there. A little bit, you're just going to get the higher beam pattern, but as far as directly in front of the truck, it doesn't affect it like it did before because the low beams are so much better than what we had. Really impressive setup from Holly Retrobright LED headlights, which they actually teamed up with Morimoto to design these things so that they have that correct look. This wasn't a project that Holly did on their own. They teamed up with the right people and definitely made a good move there. So there you can see the difference in the glass pattern. I really like a traditional steel beam glass lens, but you just can't 100% duplicate that with LED. It just doesn't work. But did they do an excellent job on those? Absolutely. I really like them. And I also love being satisfied with a quality product. And I feel that this is going to be a very nice upgrade for this truck. It's obvious that it is. Longevity, well, we're going to have to put that to the test. We're 56,000 miles and change into it on this truck now. So we're just going to see what we can get out of this kind of stuff. Just keep making it bigger and better. That's the goal. Um, one other detail that I did forget to tell you. So I chose the classic white uh, temperature, I believe is the correct term for that. So it has the classic white little bit of kind of, you know, that yellowish orangish tint to it um, so that it looks like an old incandescent bulb. They do have modern white, which has that little bit of blue tint to it, which is really nice as well, but I just prefer the classic look. So you'll have to make that decision for yourself on which one you want for your ride. But thumbs up to Holly on this one. They did a great job. Excellent product. Fit and finish is really nice. And you're going to have to get some for yourself to see how good they actually are because I promise you this video does no justice. So thanks for watching Junk with Junior. Hope you all enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.